The shooting of two judges in downtown Indianapolis are due in court this morning. We're also learning that police arrested the pair after a standoff over the weekend. News 8's Randall Newsom has been following this story and brings us the latest. Good morning, guys. Well, after a surveillance camera at White Castle caught the entire incident on camera, it only took three days for investigators to track down 41-year-old Brandon Kaiser. But he didn't make it easy. He had a standoff with police that lasted a couple hours long. After they got Kaiser in custody a little bit later, they caught up to who they believe was his getaway driver, 23-year-old Alfred Vasquez. Now, luckily, no one was hurt during the arrest. Neighbors lined up across the standoff in the east side neighborhood on the 2100 block of Wallace Avenue. And they say this arrest for investigators is a big win. We're ecstatic that the, the suspects have been arrested and they're now in custody and they'll face their day in court. Um, tragic, you know, uh, event that happened. I'm just glad that we're going to have the best outcome that we can have for this act of violence. Now, Kaiser is charged with attempted murder and Vasquez is charged with being an accomplice to the crime. According to the arrest report, Kaiser shot Adams in the stomach twice and Jacobs in the chest once. And we're told both judges are improving in their condition, but the healing process is expected to take a while. Kaiser and Vasquez are both due in court this morning. I'll send it back to you guys. Randall certainly will stay on the story throughout the